Hey Cancer, how are you guys doing? Welcome to another reading. Hope you guys are doing fine. Uh, keep in mind, this is a general reading, so take what resonates for you in your own situation and leave the rest for someone else. Um, in any event, you can always watch your moon rising or your Venus signs if you feel like this does not resonate. But keep in mind that uh, general tarot readings can manifest in any given way. So, Cancer, yeah, so please be sure to like this video. That way, YouTube can push this video out way more, okay? All right. So, other Cancerians can see this, all right? So, this is for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is coming towards Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in love. What is coming towards Cancer in love, please? Cancer. What is coming towards Cancer in love? Ooh. Hmm. Cancer, you have intervention. You are being protected from someone who is not good for you now. So whoever the freak this person is, they're not good for you now for XYZ reason. We will find out why the freak isn't good for you. Um, you have soulmate. Your partner is a soulmate who will help you open your heart fully to love. And then we have pleasure. You will have a good time together, but it may not last for a long time. Someone said they're here for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> so let's see, Cancer. Please stay tuned as I will be pulling your charms, okay, to see who you may be dealing with. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> this is for Cancer. You may be dealing with a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. What's going to towards Cancer and love? Cancer. Let me get one more. Shuffle for Cancer. Cancer, someone may have a family is what I'm hearing. <laughs> All right, overall energy is the Six of Cups. This could be someone from the past making their way back into your life. Okay, maybe they're coming in out of nowhere here. Okay, um, telling you that they miss you and everything. For some of you, Six of Cups, this could be someone that you've already been dealing with. And maybe you keep going back to this person and you need to just stay away from them. I don't know. Let's see. All right, <laughs> Cancer. What is coming towards Cancer and love, please? Cancer. Someone's going to come back. What is coming towards Cancer and love, angels? Cancer. Cancer. What is coming towards Cancer and love? So that's kind of what I feel. What's coming towards cancer and love, please? Cancer. What is coming towards cancer and love? You may be dealing with a Libra. What is coming towards cancer and love? What is coming towards cancer and love? Cancer. Hmm. Okay. So here's the problem. <laughs> Here's the problem, Cancer, with this person. You may be going with another water sign. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra. I do see Cancer. Maybe this person has Moon, Rising, Venus, and Libra or something like that. Um, they will come back. They will. So if you're wondering, will this person come back? Yes. They're going to make their grand entrance, uh, Cancer. Maybe they walked away from you and they're going to come back out of nowhere. Maybe you and this person divorced. Okay. Okay. But here's the problem, okay? It's going to turn around to where you thought it was a missed opportunity. There will be forgiveness here. I think you will forgive this person, Cancer. But for some of you, I don't, I really don't think that you will deal with them again, okay? Because based on what this person did in the past, it's like you just may not trust them. Five of Swords is here. This person may have cheated. They may have really hurt you with their words or cheated on you or did something to you that really hurt you is what I'm kind of feeling here. So this person's going to come back asking for for forgiveness. <laughs> but I feel like they're still hiding something. I, I don't know. Maybe it's their intentions. You have the moon here. What's hidden is the fact that this person could be a player. They could be playing the field. Some of y'all hear this person, they may have left you thinking that the grass was greener and then they come back, but they're going to they're going to do the same crap all over again. Ten of Cups. So, 
I don't like that, Cancer, because I feel like this person is going to come in, sell you a dream, and do the same thing. You may be dealing with a pathological liar, or what, what do they call it? This is someone who's going to kind of keep lying to you. This is someone who believes their own lies, kind of, Cancer. Uh, if you're cross-watching this for Cancer, this Cancer is going to come back. You know, and they may try to get your forgiveness here, but... At the same time, guys, I feel like this freak is going to do it again. If they screwed you once, they will screw you again. <laughs> Not in that way. But I think with the Queen of Cups, you may love this person a lot, Cancer, or this person loves you. Um, I feel like there will always be love here between you two, always, with the Queen of Cups. Some of you could be your child's father, child's mother. You guys have children together. What is the Eight of Cups reverse for Cancer? Yeah, this person thought the grass was greener. Clarifying the Eight of Cups is the Seven of Cups. They went to, some of them, you know, they went to go explore their options. That's why they left you. Some of them, they may have been um, online dating or, I don't know. Could be an Aries. What is the Six of Cups? They returned for forgiveness, but can you trust them? No, I don't think you can. Ten of Coins, Seven of Coins reversed. They're going to make their grand appearance, Cancer. Could be uh, Aquarius. But I don't think you trust them. What is justice for cancer? Justice. So at least you will get closure from this situation. But to be quite honest, I'm kind of hearing you would be a fool to believe this person and to be with them again or deal with this person again. It's like they make stupid mistakes. They do the same crap all over again. Um, you know who this person is, cancer. You know. Whoever... The person that you think about when you think about someone who's, you know, who really screwed you over. Yeah, that's this person. What is the Queen of Cups for Cancer? So this is serving as your warning, Cancer, that you should hold back. You should hold back. You need to see the truth here. Um, could be a Leo. But strength is clarifying the Queen of Cups. Even though you love this person, it's okay to love someone. But that doesn't have to mean that you have to be in love with them, Okay. Just because you love someone doesn't mean that it, you, it's meant to be or that you should be with them, okay? People got to understand that the love doesn't go away just because you can't be together, okay? What is the five of swords? Some of you, maybe there's just miscommunication problems between you two. Communication sucks, okay? You guys are always getting into petty arguments, petty disagreements, okay? What is the five of swords? Ten of Wands, the devil. This person is kind of toxic, uh, Cancer. Be a Capricorn um, with the devil card here. But either way, this person is kind of toxic. I feel like a relationship with this person or the connection with this person was very difficult, period. It weighed you down. It stressed you out. And they're going to come back to stress you out again. Signs. Look for patterns that will show you what you need to do right now. <sighs> yeah reunion so it's like you guys are gonna reunite but i don't see this going uh to you know to be your happily ever after but it's the five of cups of words. if you think this ex is gonna come back and be your happily ever after you're definitely wrong you need to listen to your intuition the five of swords is here again guys this person's gonna screw you over again cancer Whew. okay i don't think i need to keep repeating the same thing but Open your eyes, Cancer, is what I'm hearing. Some of them, they may have a whole family that they're hiding or something. I don't know. But this person's coming in to do it again. They want to do it again, Cancer. They want to uh, basically rise this up and then, like, um, I don't know, beat you down again. I don't know. Some of you, maybe they were physically abusive. Some of you are dealing with someone who plays a lot of mind games. They could be, even be a narcissist. King of Swords is in the reverse. This person, all they're going to do is come in and kind of sell you a dream and then ghost you again or disappear or something like that. I'm only going to get like a few cards out of here because to be quite honest, I don't like what this person has to say. This person is a jerk. And it doesn't matter if this person is a soulmate. We have many soulmates. Our kids, our animals, our freaking parents, our soulmates, our friends. But that doesn't mean that you guys have to be together. This may have been more karmic than anything else. This person does think about you quite a bit. They love that you're a challenge, okay? I don't like this person. Only you can please me. I don't like this person. I'll always love you. 
yeah, you may be dealing with another water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person can have uh, that in their moon, their rising. Yeah, see, user or abuser. This is what I just pulled. This person's a user and a, an abuser. Maybe they verbally uh, abuse you or something. Uh, this is kind of scary. Um, I'm unhappy without you. Oh, I'm unhappy with you, sorry. <laughs> so this might be someone who you weren't even happy with when you were with them, okay? They mistreated you. My life is a mess. I'm gonna reach out soon. Your friend. Some of you could be a friend coming back who's really manipulative. But they're coming back to, to, to abuse you again. New person. Some of you have a new person in your life. So just keep moving forward. Okay, guys. This freak has nothing different to say to my cancer. Poor cancer. All right. Oh. Who is cancer dealing with? This is like a glaring red flag. Please do not deal with this person again, cancer. You may be dealing with an Aries or someone who has Aries in their chart. Who is cancer dealing with? So the four signs that came out, you may be dealing with an Aries, like I said, an Aquarius, a Taurus, or a Pisces, okay? So you have the letter, let's see which, okay, there's a lot of Ks in here. There's a lot of X in here. Uh, there's a lot of E's in here, J, T as in Tom, F, A, Y, B as in boy, Z, E, P as in Paul, D, Q. Oh, it was a sword fight. All right, guys, see? I don't know if you guys can see, but this is like two swords. Um, these are two swords fighting each other, and it reminds me of the five of swords. So whoever this freak is, Cancer, it's going to happen again. If they stabbed you in the back, whatever they did, they're going to do it again. The letter A and the letter S and G is here, okay? So that is what I have for you, Cancer. Please stay away from the freak. Thank you for tuning in. I love you guys so much, and we will talk soon.